Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we are playing Russia here in the Open Rivers House 4. We are in the process of integrating Ukraine. That's going to be a little bit longer. We're actually almost done. And we are also just sitting around on our butts putting out rebel fires. Rebel fire. I think we'll put you in Saratov, and you can hunt rebels from there. We just need to spread out our armies a little bit so they can hunt rebels more efficiently. Yes, indeed. I said efficiently. Mmm, efficient rebel hunters. No way, not in a paradox game. Paradox games are made for terrible rebel hunting, right? Horrible rebel hunting. In fact, there's nothing good to be said about the rebel hunting in uh, in this game. It's it's terrible. It's it's awful. <laughs> we converted Turkestan. Okay, keep converting. Don't stop converting. And you guys are gonna hunt rebels from right there. Good. Another revolt. Okie dokie. Mm-hmm. Hopefully you'll actually hunt the rebels here and then stay over here, right? That'd be that'd be amazing. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know I'm over the overextension limit. I know game. I know. You don't have to tell me again. I know. It's like rah, you went over a number. Rah. Integrating Ukraine. There we go. That's some nice information. Poland left the coalition against us. Good. All right, you can go hunt rebels from there. That should keep you in this area. I wish, I wish I could use like, I don't know, one of these overlays and just have a little button here for hunt rebels. And then you could pick which zone you want them to hunt. So that any army in that zone set to hunt rebels would hunt rebels in that zone and never leave that zone. <gasps> that would be amazing. It would be magical. I wish I could do that. You can hunt rebels over here. What are you doing? Oh, you're Ukraine's army. I don't need your Ukrainian army. Yay, we integrated Ukraine, and he has Catholic and Protestant lands. Oh, well. Yay, we have Ukraine. I approve. And poor Bosnia is just getting eaten up. Oh, man. Bosnia, you better not lose any land. Or I will kill the Ottomans so hard with my penis. Give them Albania, it's fine. Blurb? Blurb! Indeed. I approve of this blurb. I converted something. Convert more. You're doing a good job. Advisor resigns. Yeah, they tend to do that when you have overextension problems. What? Oh, missionary strike. Yes! Good! Now, how's overextension going? We have 120, but... Oh, yeah. Uh, we are going to finish up Kazan, which is going to bring us to the limit. It's going to ex bring us exactly to 100. It's going to finish up uh, next year. Okay, good. Not like we can't deal with this. Of course we can deal with this. It's just annoying. A little bit annoying. Wow. Do we, are we really that far ahead in military tech? Yeah, we are 12 years ahead in military tech. That means we need to spend some military points on something. <gasps> I know what we can do. Harsh treatment. De -de 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 -de. Yeah, boost stability a bit. Uh, again. And let's harsh treatment a little bit. Um, particulars. Particularists. There we go. Where's the harsh treatment? There is some harsh treatment. Really? I have to go back every time I click one? Really? What? Oh my god, I don't want to have to do this every- Why can't you stay the- keep the window open? Oh my god, game. Keep the window fucking open. Oh, this is annoying. Wow, this is annoying. The window used to stay open, so you could just keep clicking these all in a row. And now it doesn't do that anymore, and that makes me very sad in my pants. Why are they close to defecting Syria? Oh, that's down here. Uh, Al Suraya Arabic Patriots. They're close to defecting to Syria. That's them. It's not us. They are the rebels that started in our... And they started here in Araka, 
and then we, we chased them over to Aleppo, and then they ran over here and they took this province. Uh, they're close to succeeding, but they're not actually going to succeed from us, they're going to succeed from the Ottomans only. Which is fine. Okay, they did not take anything from Bosnia. Thank you. Good. Good. You need to start improving relations with me, bro. Venice left the coalition against us. Milan left the coalition against us. Good. Everyone's leaving the coalition against us. I approve. When can we next you? Next year, I think. Two years from now. Ah, it's going to take a while to get relations up anyway, so that's fine. Ah, I should give him a gift. Mm, can't really do anything else. We can't marry him. We can, can't guarantee him they're my vassal. Yeah. We just have to wait for these things to go away. And give him a gift, of course. It's too bad they have too many units over here now. Uh, rebels might succeed over here, though. Eh, it's worth a shot, I guess. Rebels in my vagina. Uh, Georgian nationalists. There we go. Now, it looks like they're just going to ignore all this stuff down here. Which is really cool. They could have a whole lot of rebels spawn down here. That would be amazing. They could lose a lot of land to the Mamluks. Mamluks still exist. <laughs> they love us. They're friendly. They're like, yay, you kill Ottomans for us. Hungary left the coalition. Good. Rebels have won. Oh, Syria got bigger. Good for you, Syria. Now I feel kind of dumb, because I could have taken more land from you. And now you're going to be too large to vassalize. And that makes me very sad. Ottomans entered a coalition against us. Oh no! Oh no! We could totally like get them out of the coalition. No, we couldn't. <laughs> Border friction, 92. Wow. Oh! Yay, they're finally improving relations with us. Yay, we can ally them. Alright, stop improving relations. It will come naturally to you. So who do we want to improve relations with? Hungary, I think, is too far gone. We would have to go to war with them and make them smaller. Poland... Oh, they have their own vassals? What? <laughs> Spain has a personal union over Poland? What? <laughs> Since when? Since six years ago. Holy crap. You're fucking kidding me. Someone mentioned that something like that had happened, and I checked Poland, and they were still independent. But I guess they got a union six years ago. Wow. Someone in chat is fucking prescient. That's amazing. And we cord Kazan. Okay, so that's going to put us under the limit, right? No, we're right at the limit. Shit. But um, this one's going to finish in three years. Okie dokie. All right, hurry up with the relations up here. Come on. Come on, Finland. You can do it, man. Real close here on um, Bosnia. We will need a um, Herpskaderp. We will need a special dude, statesman, if we want to actually get them. Conversion successful. Good, good, good. We need that statesman. Why is there no statesman available? Hell if I know. Oh, 
we have a treaty for four years. Ah, uh, because we went to war. Right. Oh, well, it gives me time to get a freaking statesman, I guess. Uh, might as well boost relations all the way to top, then. That's fine. Uh, we could... No, Holy Roman's already full. Everyone's pretty much full on relations. Even Bohemia's pretty much full. Can we claim Sweden's throne? That'd be awesome. No. Whose thrones are available? Spain. <laughs> yeah, let's claim Spain's throne. No, they have a different dynasty, right? Yeah, Trastamara. Personal union with Poland. I cannot believe that. Fucking hell, man. Same dynasty as Bosnia and Moria. Well, that doesn't help us very much, does it? <sighs> let's put the HRE in there. And then Spain will help us in wars against them. And who else do we want in there? Um, I don't know. Who does Sweden not like? They don't like the HRE. That's fine. What about Poland? HRE. That's fine. Nobody likes the HRE except Bohemia. Interesting. Burgundy, HRE, France. Hmm. Burgundy. <laughs> what about England? England, England, England. Hmm. Same dynasty as Portugal. Which dynasty is that? Lancaster. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> you don't like France or Burgundy. Burgundy might be a safe bet. No one seems to like Burgundy. France, the Holy Romans, England, Bohemia. Everyone dislikes Burgundy. Let's throw Burgundy in there instead of Hungary. Just because they're kind of, you know, whatever. There we go. I can't believe we have to wait for that treaty to expire. But, oh well. Um, yeah, okay. We're, we're dealing with the rebels. It's not really a problem. It's just annoying. And Bosnia is going to continue to improve relations. That's good. Still need that statesman. Still not available. Okay. Economy is going back up. Put the, well, yeah, put the forces. <laughs> Lower the payments to your forces. Time for rebels. Rebels. In your vagina. What are you doing? Why are you even here? Why are two rebel hunters in the same tile taking attrition? That doesn't even make sense. You shouldn't do that. Uh, get relations up with these idiots. Get them out of the coalition. Autumns are never going to leave the coalition unless they feel threatened by us. Oh, they do. Well, I thought when you're threatened, you're not going to join the coalition. Interesting. No, it's a very small coalition. It's the Holy Romans, the Ottomans, and the Oirats in Syria. Not a big coalition. Powerful, but not big. And Syria left it. Good. Because they like us. <laughs> They're not upset that we took half their country. Not really. And Spain loves the shit out of us. Good. Go Spain. Go Spain. So how's Finland going? It's good. We still have a long way to go, though. And keep converting. Uh, still about, like, 15 provinces to convert. That's fine. As soon as we core Aleppo, we can convert that. Wow, we're still funding rebels over here. Oh, and there's 4%. Well, hopefully they spawn. That'd be fantastic. Autumn's declared war on Syria. Oh, well. Bye-bye, Syria. Bye-bye. <laughs> How about Croatia? I'm going next to you. Next year. All right. Yeah, let's the next Croatia. Fuck it. They don't need to exist over there. What do they think they're doing being Croatian? Shit. They're crazy. Crazy Croatians. Oh, punked. What the hell? I'm crazy. I'm reading the chat. It's just... I'm not reading all of it. Why would a union with Portugal be unrealistic? Hmm? 
Hmm? All these hunt rebels. Yeah, I can't read all of it. Especially when we're busy in the game. But right now it's pretty relaxed. There's not a whole lot going on. So I can just enjoy myself and chat. Or if not chat, then I can talk with you guys while you chat, right? Sort of the same thing, I think. Really need that statesman. Without a statesman, we can't get this relation going. Disappointing. Uh, legitimacy, if legitimacy would go up, that would help as well. So pretty much our king needs to die, and we need a statesman. Our current king is King Yuri. And Constantine would take over. Now he should die in the next 10 years or so, I think. Okay, self-standing colony and M bomb. very nice. Where else can we colonize? Um, we've got random islands. I'm not going to bother with the places with high pops. High pops means no point. Someone's already there. France is over there. Okay. What about this island? Perfect. Nauru. Go Russia. Russia to Nauru. I mean, at this point, colonizing is just for fun. <laughs> it doesn't really do any good. Man, there's so many rebels over here. And... Syria is actually winning their war against the Ottomans because the Ottomans have no army down here in the south. Nothing. It's all in the north. They just pretty much let the south collapse. I find that to be awesome. And hilarious. So Syria is going to take like half of this. That's going to be that's going to be great. You guys want access? You know. Here, have some access. <laughs> Now they can go invade the Ottomans over here. I don't, I don't, they probably don't want to. But now they can if they want to. Uh, what was that? Their, Iraq is now attacking Syria? Are you kidding me? That sounds like a bad choice. I'm just saying, I'm just guessing here, but that's a bad choice. Alright, diplomats are coming home. That was the guy who was in the Ottoman land. Oh yeah! Since I asked, I think I asked like an hour and a half ago, um, if I move my capital out of St. Petersburg, I'm thinking of doing that, moving it either down south so we would be closer to Europe, or maybe over here so we'll be kind of a, an essential area so we're closer to everything. Uh, would that remove the plus four base tax from, or plus six base tax from Dix Ahoy, or would that remain? Does anyone know? It should be fine. All right, well, why don't we move it down here? Uh, we'll move it as close as we can to Europe. All right, Zimplan. Well, I guess what makes sense to see where the uh, trade nodes are. Hmm. I mean, the best trade nodes are going to be Venice, right? I guess we can move it to Istria. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, goodness. We own some of Krakow, right? No. Where would be a good place then? Kiev, maybe? No, because there's not a whole lot that goes to Kiev. Only a little bit out of Crimea goes to Kiev. Hmm. Yeah, Dix Ahoy. It's a great name. Where's a good place to go? Novgorod, I guess, is a pretty decent place because it it has uh, Kazan and Kiev feeding it. Uh, we do also have Crimea, but it only has one feeder. So we would miss out on a lot of trade. I don't know. Novgorod seems pretty good, I guess. If anyone can think of a better place to put our capital with the land that we cur currently control, let me know. Uh, I am interested in moving it somewhere closer to, to mainland Europe. Yeah, we can stay here for now. I'm just kind of curious, like, where would be a better place to go. No, I'm not going to do any wars while we have this overextension. It needs to go away. Too much overextension. Overextension on Shen Place. Come on, Croatia. Let's go ahead and marry your dumbass. And we'll give you a gift. Because we can. Is Greece still orthodox? Yeah, the Ottomans have not converted anything. They're lazy. 
Ah, we now have more relations, meaning we get more Diplo points every month. Very nice. We were over by two, now we're perfect at eight. Does granting access to Syria count as a relation? Let me take a look. No, it doesn't. Okay, good. So giving access to someone does not count as a relationship. I like that. Oh right, yeah, we also need to marry the Mongols. Why did we never why did we never marry the Mongols? You guys need to tell me these things, man. Marry the Mongols. There you go. Good guy, Shen. Marries his vassals. Alright. Everyone's leaving the coalition. Of course you are. No one wants to be in a coalition against Russia. That's a scary ass coalition. And we cord Sarai. Very nice. Yeah, legitimacy is gonna be bad, but we'll have a hundred legit legitimacy as soon as our king dies. So that's not a problem. We converted Gangwon. Nice. Come on, Croatia. I need to give you a gift. There we go. Wow, you're greedy. Wow. 175 is a gift. You're crazy greedy. Oh yeah, we could do some more buildings, huh? We have a ton of money. Marketplaces? No, 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 no. We can do... We can do anything, really. We still had military tech? We're nine years ahead of military tech. Fine, do some military buildings. Do some level two forts. Level two forts, go! Level two forts in the Spice Islands, go! Uh, level three forts. Why not? Level three forts. Go for it. Um, sure. I don't think we're ever going to need that shit, but whatever. It makes you feel good, right? In the pants. Uh, this stuff probably doesn't need it. Over here, sure. It's probably all we need, though. Uh, what else we got? Mm, don't really need temples anywhere. Don't really need marketplaces. I mean... There's very little that we need. How about some manufactories? That's a good way to blow our money. Weapons manufactories. Fuck yeah, weapons. Weapons! Are we ahead on tech? Uh, we are... We're not really ahead, but we are really pushing the limits. It says we are eight years ahead. Uh, and this one's right on time. But the others, let's see, yeah. So these two are right on time, 24, but the military is ahead of... So we're just going to build some weapons manufacturers to blow through some military tech points. Hmm. <laughs> Anything else over here? I don't think so. Ease tension, nice. Oh, ease tension is so good. Wow. <laughs> so who got hit with ease tension? Poland got hit with ease tension. Bohemia got hit with ease tension. Wow, they like us. Look at that shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Stupid Bosnia and Moria. Useless. September of next year. Feels like such a long time away before we can get that alliance with Bosnia. Yeah, overextension is going to go away. It's all good. We're at 80%. Everything's coring. Not a problem. <laughs> But we do need to end this episode here, so why don't we do that and come back next time to find out what kind of horrible things we can do to the world as Russia. Bye-bye.